I wanted to ask you too, are you using the exact language? Because I printed out these um, Facebook viral marketing um, materials and the ones that you can email. From corporate? Uh -huh. Is that from corporate? No, that's from your website. Actually. Oh, oh, okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll go ahead. This um, email script, do you use these exact ones? Yes, I'm at, the reason I hesitate is because it depends on who I'm talking to. I might add a little bit of my flavor in there, but that's the I made those pretty generic, and you add your you add your personality to it. But that's the gist of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. depending on like one of them says the person you barely know, and one of them says the person you're trying to you know very well and stuff like that. You see the different. It's like three different types. Person you barely know. Mm -hmm. I know we haven't talked in a while. Okay, title. Yeah. Family, some financial solution. I'm expanding my circle. Help me out. Yeah, do you find they work before I sit here and send them out to like 500 people? Yeah, I wouldn't have did it. No, I'm just asking. Yeah, those come from, those come from, those come from, I, I derived them from ones that were, um, had high closing, had high closing ratios. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So what was, what did you put in the subject? Because that's what I don't see on here. Okay. Because like, like, say for me, for example, I may get, wake up with 500 emails, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look for the ones that are familiar to me and the other ones I may open up at a later date or I may just delete them. Right. So how do I avoid that? Well, you can't really avoid that, to be honest. No, all we can do in email marketing. I meant reduce it rather. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So people actually, I know subject lines are important that's the main thing yeah it is it is and if i left the subject line off of that then that's an omission what the, i ain't got it on there at all nothing not, for none of them mm -mm. what it say it just gives you kind of the relationship mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah it doesn't have like subject lines or anything um no. okay that's an omission. i gotta i gotta put those back that's not like me because i know the subject line is the most important thing but to answer oh, your where it says title, I know we haven't talked in a while, but we need to connect. Yeah, the title. That's the, I should title. the title. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's the subject. I'm expanding my financial circle. Help me out. That's the right. subject. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what I will. That's what I will put. Now, now, like I like I always tell people when I teach this, you know how you sound to your people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you know if you sending this, because first of all, these are not mass mail. They're not mass mailers. So you literally are copying and pasting them. So. You know, if that's your home girl and you know her really well, you're not gonna say I'm I'm expanding my financial circle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Girl, you know, title, girl call me. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, right. so I tell people, don't don't be literal with them, but there are some psychological things I did lace in them to get them to at least look at it. You know, but so I tell people don't change too much, but don't sound like that either. You know what I mean? But if I say call me, then maybe they won't even open the email because well, I say, call me. That's a bad example. I, I, what I mean by that is, you know not to say, I'm expanding my financial circle to somebody you just saw yesterday. You know, you might say, this is, this is something I meant to talk to you about. Call me after you read it. You know what I mean? It's up to you. Oh, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah sometimes it sounds more complicated than what it actually is. You know what I mean? Like, the verbiage. Can you hear now? But he's, you want to sit right here? Because he's not going to be able to hear you. Yeah, I can barely hear. Justina, can you hear me now? Good morning. I can hear you. How you doing? I'm good. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. So I um I want to hop on here real quick because you know why not look at some faces? We can't see each other any other time. Mm -hmm. Why not make it a Zoom instead? Okay. <laughs> um. So yeah. Michelle was telling me about some of your frustrations that you want to work out in the business. And I just want to give you some quick tips. Okay. Okay. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you're not trying to recruit people. Okay. Put that not down. trying to recruit who? People. 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 Okay. Now put this down. Don't recruit. Educate. Don't recruit. Educate. That's real important. En enrolling people in the business is real estate. Or I should say, your level of frustration when it comes to people responding—it's really mental. We don't, mm -hmm. we don't recruit people in the business. If if you're gauging your financial success 
by how well your recruiting is going, you're gonna have a short, you're gonna have a short life in the business. So mm -hmm. don't recruit, educate. That's just a, that's a philosophy, okay? Mm -hmm. When you when you look at it that way, you won't see what happens is when we're talking to people, desperation comes out and it can kind of ooze through your pores without you really knowing it. So that's mm -hmm. why you're not really getting the response you want because you're trying to hit the top of a comp plan mentally instead of just trying to show this person how they can improve their finances. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. If I show you how to improve your finances, that puts the onus on you. Then I sleep good at night knowing that I ain't trying to recruit you or nothing. I'm trying to show you the financial edge membership. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, oh, by the way, there is a business attached to it, but I want to know if you want help in one of these following areas, money match, credit match, equity match, wealth match. When you do it like that, that's why I don't take nothing personal because I got something that's helping a ton of people improve their finances. I want to know if you're open to looking at that. Not, I'm trying to show you a home-based business where you can make a ton of money and get a residual check. That's traditional network marketing. Mm -hmm. Where because we didn't have a whole lot to offer outside of the comp plan, and like Michelle, no, because we come from, like the product might be okay, but the money is what we're really offering you. So we had to really make that a big deal. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Over here, we got both. We got a killer comp plan, but we really do have something that we know for a fact you need if okay. you're willing to look at it. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. so I just want to spend this first minute just talking about posture. You're not trying to recruit. You're trying to expose and educate. Okay? Very important. Mm -hmm. Second thing, have you ever heard me say this before? E plus E plus E minus E minus E equals E. Mm -hmm. It doesn't sound good. Explain. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. The, yeah, the, Michelle yes, tells me that all the, time. Yeah. all the time. Okay, that's, that's why this is important. I got two formulas. I got really three formulas that I teach the whole team. That's one of them. Mm -hmm. E plus E plus E minus E minus E. All right, we'll go over yeah, that. Execution, exposure, education, and no explanations. Mm -hmm. No explanations. And then I add it, and then I add it later, like and no emotions. Mm -hmm. so that's the minus E, minus E <laughs> equals okay. moments, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's let's tackle that one first. If see the people business is really emotional because you want your friends to do well, and I get it. I get it. Trust me. You want your friends to do well, you wish your family could see this. You, you learn the things that you know your brother should know. You learn the things that you wish your husband could see. So it gets emotional. It's like, man, if y'all would just see it and come to a doggone meeting. Mm -hmm. But you got to remove the emotions. That's why I, if you notice, I teach everything with a formula because they ain't got no emotions involved. That's just fact. Mm -hmm. I know that if everybody just stay in their lane, if you just expose and leave it alone, let me educate, me meaning me and the leaders of EDM, we pass them the MWR to do the execution. They do the credit. We ain't got to do all that. They do the wealth max. We ain't got to do all that. They do the uh, equity max. They do the enroll agents and money max. Our job is to be that conduit in the middle, meaning my job, is to be the conduit in the middle between you and MWR. So I do the webinars. I do the tools. I do the trainings. I create the packets. I create the scripts. I create the text message. We create the means. I'm not saying I'm the best at it. I'm just saying leverage my 20 years and don't be out there trying to create all this stuff. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're responsible for the exposure and I'm responsible for the education, the wealth worksheets, the 4321 and all that, MWR do the execution, you shouldn't have no emotional attachments to the outcome. Write that down. Do not get addicted to the outcome. That's the problem with most people in, in network marketing. They get addicted to the outcome. Who's signing up? Who not? and you done lost track of what you're supposed to be doing. In this business, we expose and educate, period. That's it. I don't care if you sign up. I really don't. That, that's the attitude you got to have. I really don't care if you sign up. I sleep good at night. When I show you the rule of 72 and show you that the bank going to get $600,000 and give you 40, if you cool with that, I'm cool with it. You see what I'm saying? When I mm -hmm. show you the bloody mess and show you that a $5,000 credit card, you're going to end up paying back 5000 I mean, Six thousand nine hundred on top mm -hmm. of your five thousand. If you cool with that, I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. I show you that if you take your W four and adjust it, and get the five hundred a month up front, which is six thousand a year, instead of getting your six thousand dollar refund check next year, in fifteen years you will have one hundred and ninety two thousand dollars. 
or you have 60,000. If you cool with that, I'm cool with it. See, I sleep good at night because I'm just trying to expose you to the game. I don't care if you sign up. I'm, we're just talking about attitude right now, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to get the technique, but I got to get you, I got to give you the right posture first. I think I win because of posture. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When I show you that the number one asset, especially right now in this climate, which we're about to get to in our next topic, the number one asset you can own is a home based business. You can let your 228 go into a business or you can let your 228 go into a bank. 228 in the bank is going to be 220. Mm-hmm. It's going to be 212. It's going to end up being 208. I mean, 202 and then 196. Mm-hmm. 220 with you can end up being 2,280. Mm-hmm. You see? So mm-hmm. my point is when I educate you that private business is the number one asset right now you can invest in, it's not the stock market. Y'all see what's happening there. It's not the 401k. You see what happened there. Right now, you want to put, you want to let your 228 go into something that can make it grow. You see the difference? Mm-hmm. But the mentality right now is, and we'll talk about the climate in a second. The mentality right now is, Brian, I'm uncertain about the future. I might need to hold on to this 228. I'm like, mm-hmm. no, uncertainty is the reason you let the 228 go. Because you let the 228 go next month, it could be 2,880. Mm-hmm. You see? That's what I mean by let us educate them. You don't have to know this game I'm, I'm spitting right now. You, you honestly know it, but you don't have to be able to spew it. But you got to be good. You got to be better at getting them to us so they can go, I never thought about it that way. It, it, if, if I don't let the 228 go now, it ain't, it ain't going to do nothing but go to Walmart. It's going somewhere. Hmm. We know that, right? The, the 228 <laughs> is going somewhere. So what I'm asking you to do is look at this wealth of fine tonight. What I'm asking you to do is look at this website for a minute. What I'm asking you to do is listen to this pre-recorded call and maybe just maybe when this situation calms down, you might be in a better position than you were before the situation. Mm-hmm. If you have an emotional attachment to whether or not I do that, you would never get your three people. You understand? So don't get, so what I'm saying is, is um, Justina, don't, don't get frustrated. Mm-hmm. Just remember what your role, what your role is. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So that's that. Now, so can I just um, say something really fast, Brian? Um, I think that my frustration is coming from, and maybe you know, because I haven't. I don't want to keep saying that I haven't done this business because I'm definitely trying to learn the rope. But you know, when we're supposed to be peeking and passing, and I'm sending that video out after you know, after they say, no, I've never heard of income shifting or land banking, and then you know. Then we follow up, well, great, you have, you know, the 18 minutes, you know, like I'm doing the whole script. And then once I send the video, I'm not getting the feedback after the video or I'm getting, hey, I'll call you later, but then, or, you know, I'll send you a Facebook message later, but then nothing. So how do you advise that I follow up or don't follow up on that? Right. And that's the fine tuning. And believe it or not, that's the fine tuning we're going to talk about now. Okay. okay. Because, the, because I know that most people don't understand the peak in the past, but then how to reconnect with that person. Right. That's the, that's the fine tuning we're going to do. Okay. I got you on that. Believe me. Okay. Um, you're not alone. And most people have to learn that skill set of being on the defensive first and then bringing it back, swinging the pendulum back to being on offense. Okay. Mm-hmm. See, when you send a video out, you're kind of on defense. You're kind of at their mercy. Did you watch it yet? But then I got to show you how to swing it back when you become on offense. Okay. okay. We'll talk about that in two seconds. Well, this, this, this segment right here, what I'm about to talk about now is going to help you. It's going to bridge to that. Okay. Okay. So we understand posture, right? Yeah. We understand our role. Well, your yeah. job is just to expose, expose. right? Expose. Yep. And your the job education, is to expose. Education piece? Your job. My job. EDM, right? Mm-hmm. And then who's the execution piece? Who does the, who, who executes the, the play? The what? Okay. The credit max. Oh, MWR. MWR, right? Okay. okay. Once you got that, our okay. job is not to do a whole bunch of what? Explain oh, it. Explanation. And we got to remove our emotions. Okay. And that equals enrollments. All right. So that's my E plus E plus E. Now, oh. check this out. This has been killing. Them. You ready? <laughs> okay. Enlighten us. Enlighten us. We ready to kick the ball. Ready to kick the ball. Okay. Social distancing 
Okay. Let me tell you how I've been getting. Here's what I've been doing. I've been using this time period. Not to say nah, 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 nah. I told y'all we always need to get our men together and tell y'all jobs are unstable and so not that. But I've been using this time period to show people now is the time to, and here's my favorite word, collaborate. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite word. Because see, people hate when you try to sell them something or show them something, but people love to collaborate. If they feel like they're bringing something to the table and you bring something to the table, they love collaboration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now is the time to collaborate. Right? So here's what I want you to understand. The one industry that always skyrockets when people get, this is statistical, the same Brian, when people get nervous, it's education. Let me tell you why. They, they, they proved this in 2001 with 9-11, right? They proved this in 2008 when, the, um, when the real estate crashed, um, the crash of 08 through 010, and I, I mean 010, 2010. What happens is when people get nervous, the one thing we're trained to run to is more knowledge. Because we say, shit, if, I, if I'd have my money together, this wouldn't be affecting me. Or had I had another degree, see, we're trained to go back to school. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. We're trained to um, never let this happen again. So I got to go, I got to I got to go get smarter. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So believe it or not, no one says as a result of this, I'm dropping out of school. People say as a result of this, man, I got to go, I, I got to go get more, more qualified on paper. You see what I'm saying? The number one industry that skyrockets during chaos is education. That's number one. And guess what we provide? An educational platform. Mm -hmm. Number one. Not only do we provide an educational platform, we provide now social distancing solutions. See, this, this is my new, I'm giving y'all, this is my new span during this quarantine period. Does that make sense? We're providing okay. social distancing solutions. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, well and, and Dr. Michelle was on the uh, webinar the other day. We're connecting people in that example, first ladies of finance, we're connecting people, we're using technology to bring people together so they can come out of this situation better than they were. So number one, I'm using the education, the educational scale. Meaning, meaning people need, feel the need to get smarter in moments of chaos. And this is what you're explaining to people. Just so you know, I'm not just telling y'all this, this is what you're this is how you double back and correct some of the people you may have hit wrong two weeks ago. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'm, giving you, I'm giving you a few things. I don't know it sounds crazy, but I'm going to tie it all together. I'm giving you my new approach during this crazy time. And then I'm giving you a way to double back and let them know that now may be the perfect time to collaborate. Whereas two weeks ago, y'all got to remember, man, this thing changing every day. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? This thing changing every day. First it was April, then it's the 30th, then the governor's saying, nah, they're talking about, you know, May 15th. And I, Kids out of school, first they was going back, now they not. Every day something new. So every day it's up to us to reach out and say, now might be the time for us to collaborate because that person that was cool two weeks ago ain't cool this week. Oh. Okay? Now, that's my point. So we got a couple of industries on our side. Education. Technology is, technology is the solution to social distance. <laughs> Three, finances. In other words, you know, you always hear me call it the rules of the wealthy, the money game. Four, home-based business. Now, a lot of those sound kind of redundant, and they kind of are, believe it or not. I'm not, I'm not sitting up here talking to y'all like some of those don't overlap. The education you're providing is the money game. You see what I'm saying? But I'm separating them for a reason. I'm separating them because I want your prospects to know the number one recession-proof industry, education. Every time, 9-11 proved it, 2008 proved it, okay? Every time. Two, right now with people losing their jobs, unemployment is at an all-time high, and inflation will be at an all-time high. Let, let, me, let, me, let me tell y'all something. Like, check this out. This is what I told a group last night. I want y'all to think about this. They can lift, they can lift the ban or the quarantine right now. Am I right? Mm -hmm. Are you rushing out right now? <laughs> If they lifted it today, you going to the football game tomorrow? Mm, no. You see what I'm saying? If they lift it right now, you going to the movies tomorrow? Because mm -mm. we still not sure. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, 
right, y'all telling us we can move, but that don't mean that the restaurants and stuff are cleaning the seats off and that we got, you know, you still ain't sure. So right. you know how long the psychological effect of this thing is. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the angle we got to come at them with now is the un get, get ready for the unknown. Mm -hmm. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. There are psychological ramifications for what's happening right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went, I went to uh, get some seafood yesterday. I ain't even want nobody like Nick. Look, I was respecting their space and they respected my, I'm like, Hey bro, my fault. You know, Hey, Hey, <laughs> And let me get through here real quick. Exactly. I was in a post office. I said, excuse me, do you mind stepping back like three feet? Seriously. I, 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 the man like this. <laughs> I said, I looked at the post office. I said, uh, he said, uh, sir, can you move over, please? Because I didn't want to have to tell him, but I was going to tell him. It's, That's this what I'm saying. So my thing, y'all, is just because people got to start thinking for themselves. Just because 45 say, all right, we can travel again. You still ain't 100% comfortable. Ain't nobody going to be. The psychological ramifications of now seeing uh, two-thirds of the people you meet with masks, seeing people kind of on the, in the stores, they put that little thing six feet, you stay six feet. That don't end this year, y'all. Okay? So you can talk all you want about when this is over. This is going to have a psychological impact. We are in a new age now. Yeah. You got to use that kind of speech when you peeking now. You, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm giving you them four industries, social distancing slash technology, the home-based business, which is like the new solution. Am I right? Mm -hmm. The education, which is recession proof and financial uh, literacy, which is what this all boils down to because we see now that at, any moment this thing can turn. Mm -hmm. And look, Dr. Michelle, this thing, this time, we can't even see the enemy. Like, this ain't 9 11 where we knew where they were and we went over there and got them. This is the people that are non symptomatic can give it to 15 people. Mm -hmm. And then those 15 go affect, in fact, go home. Look, what they call it, asymptomatic or whatever, non asymptomatic. Don't even know you got it. You ain't showing no symptoms or nothing. And you just infecting like crazy, you ain't going to no game. If they end the, if they end the quarantine tonight, you ain't going. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, uh, the devil is a liar. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going. Yeah. So what I'm telling y'all is, this is where we quickly decide who gonna do the business and who what, who not. It should be easier. See, this is what I'm telling my leaders. It should be easier now for you to see whether this person plan or whether they serious if they can't see it now you would never see it right mm -hmm. you see what i'm saying so this is a time where yeah so it's it's not it's, it's nerve-wracking and I'm, I'm not sitting over here like i'm superman but i'm not over here at the same time i gotta find a silver line and that says okay this is where we ramp up this is why i know if you're serious or not you can't tell me you ain't had time to watch it you can't tell me your finance haven't been affected you can't mm -hmm. tell me you don't know anybody who don't need this See, you can't tell me no more. Them, them, them excuses you gave me three weeks ago, they don't apply no more. I, I know that for a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See? So them four industries, that's my new conversation. You hear it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you said about the excuses, you can't tell me you don't have the finances. You can't tell me you don't have the time. So watch the video. Yeah, you at home now, right? A lot mm -hmm. of people yeah. can't tell me, you can't tell me that you don't know anybody that has not been affected by this. In other words, this is not a solution to their problem. Mm -hmm. In other words, just about every excuse we used to get is what? Okay, um, I haven't had a chance to look at it. We know you. you we know that ain't true. Mm -hmm. I, um, I don't know anybody who would be interested in this. Well, I guarantee you they're more open-minded now than they were three weeks ago. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, I forgot what I said, but, but this being okay. so I to watch it. I don't don't find answers. Infected. Don't know anybody. Haven't had a chance to look at it. Yeah, there's all of those things that, in other words, in other words, when everybody's at home and you got curfews and stuff, you can't give me the same excuses you had when everybody was just moving free. Right. That's what I'm trying to say, right? So my point is, I have to find that silver line in that, okay, we quarantine and it may suck, 
We can't go out to eat. And I feel horrible for the, man, the restaurants, man. Poor, poor guys, man. Like, this is awful. You know what I'm saying? The small <laughs> business, man. This, this is awful. Do you hear yeah, me? It is. It's awful. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and we have something with those four industries I created, and some of them do overlap, but we have something that counteracts everything right now that's a problem for you. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. So that's my new approach. Mm -hmm. And then the best example I can give you, they say the founder of Zoom made $2 billion I read that. with this whole thing. I mean, he just ramped up his whole program. He was ready. You know what I'm saying? He didn't know this would happen, but everybody using Zoom. Then my whole thing is, if he can make $2 billion off of a crisis, can we get to 20,000? Right. You know what I'm saying? And my other buzzword, just so y'all know, is daily stimulus check. See, mm -hmm. we got we to start, start using what's going on right now in the current times mm -hmm. as our new vernacular. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Daily stimulus check. And I'm going to say this, I'm going to leave the corona thing alone. If you think for one minute, $1,200 one time, <laughs> Come on, Dr. Michelle. That, look, it's spent. It's already spent. Exactly. You know what I'm so when, no, and it's quite disturbing, though, because you know Canada, and I'm getting off topic, but Canada provided their uh, citizens with two. They provide them with a thousand dollars every two weeks, uh, testing, treatment. I mean, and they're and this is for several weeks. And they're talking about one time. You know, it's just so disgusting to just hear them say one time, but yet big business gets millions of dollars yep. to stay afloat. I don't understand that. Even the airlines, why? When you already double the price anyway. It ain't like y'all already know that y'all's margins are ridiculous. So what you're doing is you get that's see, now you see, I always talk about capitalism. See, yeah. Canada's what? Socialism. So they they looking out for everybody. Everybody, th everything gonna be all right. We got the people. We kind of put the people first. Right. America is a democracy where that's supposed to be on paper. That's what it is. But it's a capitalistic economy. So they're like, I don't know if that's gonna hurt our bottom line. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Right. You telling me, Delta, Boeing, Marriott, Amazon. I'm just naming some big companies. Amazon, Nike, whatever. Everybody can't give up 10 mil. Right. Hmm. Like this is now where you get you give up 10 million dollars just to keep this thing going. Because you 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 made 10 million yesterday in one minute. Mm -hmm. You can't give up 10 mil. Mm -hmm. and you can't provide 10,000 masks to the nurses and doctors or whatever. You you can't you can't donate money to make what, what are those machines called that we that we short? The latest. You can't give up 10 mil a piece for the ventilators? But how is the Amazon Jeff asking for donations for his employees? That's so disgusting to me. I tried to get on his Twitter, but I couldn't. Like, really? Now, that I didn't know. Yeah, he, he said he started a fund, a, um, Amazon Employees Fund, to help and was accepting donations until he got lit up on Twitter. From about he donations from us, but he want. I bet you he ain't cut. He about to be worth a trillion dollars. A trillion. Yeah. yeah. See, so well, that's the point. He, he put up twenty five million. I put up twenty five million, and if Americans want to donate to his employees so that they can take off or stay home, then he's open to those donations. It's so disturbing and disgusting to me. What about this, Michelle? Jeff, how about one billion of your several? Exactly. Now, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm not a billion, billionaire nowhere near. And I know it sounds crazy, but if you approaching a trillionaire, that's a thousand billion. Yes. So you can't give up a billy <laughs> for all the people that got you the billy. Right. <laughs> the multiple billies, like like Warren Buffett at his peak was worth eighty five billion. Mm -hmm. Jeff Bezos way over that. Anyway, we digress. It just, it's just amazing. It just, everything that we talk about, the reason it kills me, because everything we're talking about, it is unfolding right before you. And so that's why people need to understand 
that you do need to be more concerned about you and your family than you are concerned about your job. Because you see, as soon as they say everything, and this is federal government regulated, state regulated, you have to shut down, close your doors. You don't have a choice. Man, I'll say so. Lawyers are laid off. Doctors are laid off. Engineers are laid off. Everybody is pretty much laid off until we've been given the word that we can go back to work. Yep. So what are you going to do when they've already proven to you over and over and over again yep. that we care about us first? Yep. Then and guess then what we'll happened. think about you. That's right. Then guess what happened? When people started going back to work, just like it took a minute for this thing to unravel, it take a minute for things to get back what? Back moving. Because now that's what people are doing. They're like, man, I, I, you know, all that going out we used to do. So guess what? When people stop spending, them businesses, they still don't suffer. Because now people ain't just out willy-nilly like they once were, because now they got this on the back of their mind. Yeah. Which means more layoffs, more layoffs. More layoffs. Last thing. I'm watching 60 Minutes last night. It was deep. I ain't even thought about this. This guy owns like 20 different restaurant chains in New York. He says, you know what? He said the the farmers don't even know how much to prepare for. In other words, when the restaurant, if your main supplier are restaurant chains and grocery stores and all that, and they laying off left and right. How does the farmer even waste his time, effort, and energy doing the normal bundles that he would do? Because he normally knows his supply and demand, right? Mm-hmm. They don't even know, really, it's going all the way back to the farmer now. How much stuff should we really be mass producing when the, when the demand for it may not be as big for the next three years? Mm-hmm. You see, we're thinking, we thinking about our friend that owns the salon and how it impacted her, because we see that directly. You don't see how this thing impacting everybody all the way back to the man who plant the seeds. Mm-hmm. It's rough, man. I'm telling you. And I thank God every day I wake up and be like, man, thank you, God. I, I don't know what put me in this position, but it didn't affect me at all. My, I'm not behind. My, my, my cash flow is excellent. I got good money. My, my income is unbelievable. And I'm in a position to show others how to do the same thing on this platform for those four reasons that we just talked about. Mm-hmm. Make sense? Mm-hmm. All right. So let's help you with, <laughs> now that we got that out of our systems, mm-hmm. let's, let's help you with that, um, that peak and pass thing. So now you have some new, you got some new ammunition to peak and talk about, right? Mm-hmm. Here's the thing that most people drop the ball on when they peak and pass. They forget to provide the two choices at the end of the conversation. You have to provide the two choices and tell the prospect what's next. Write that down. Provide my two choices and tell the prospect what's next. When people know what's coming next, they'll follow your pattern, they'll follow your behavior or that they'll follow the behavior that you're trying to get them to do, right? When you leave it open-ended and send them a link and say, get back with me, you got to remember, people are broke for a reason. The, the mm-hmm. reason people are broke, they, they have terrible follow-up skills. They're mm-hmm. natural followers, not leaders. They don't do what they say they're going to do, and they're busy doing nothing. So there's mm-hmm. a reason that most people struggle. They're not going to get to it. They don't know that it's a priority. They don't know that it's a game changer for their life, and they, they, they act like they got all day to do it. It's not that we're being pushy. What we're doing is, because we know the nature of people, we're making you tell us, are you available tomorrow between 7 and 7.30, or is it better for you later when the kids go to bed between 10 and 10.30? What time is best for me to call you back after you watch the videos? Now, what that does, that puts the next appointment on the books, so I got to watch it. Does that make sense, Justina? Yes. Um, Can I ask you a question, Brian? Yes. So because we know the nature of people is why we're going to ask that open-ended question. So that way it won't be just a yes or a no. But when are we... Not open, close-ended. Close-ended, okay. Open it and hit me back after you see this. Okay, right. So close-ended, schedule an appointment. So at what point would, would I, like, okay, so if I'm on social media, at what point would I be getting their information so that I can schedule this appointment? Because if they just have my information, then they can put bail on the appointment. Correct. And I had that happen. 
Correct. Well, this is why I always tell people you get online to get offline. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when they, that's why I always tell people, text me. You always hear me and my stuff say, text me keyword inflation. Text me keyword debt be gone. Text me keyword big business. Now, when you text me, that's how I got your number. Okay. See, I get out of the inbox. It, like right. even the description stuff y'all have. Mm -hmm. That's just to get the dialogue going. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I can, I need that number because nothing is more compelling than my excitement, pitch, and tone. Right. So I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I ha I'm. I'm unfortunately not able or have not reached that point where I'm getting their contact number to my phone. I'm text. You know, I'm sending the. I'm doing the script. They have my number. And, you know, I'll follow up with them back via through Facebook or Instagram or whatever or email, but I just, I don't close it. Okay, so what we're doing is we're speaking in too many generalizations. So mm -hmm. what, what I got to do, I need you, we're going to talk about each specific methodology. Text is different than Facebook. Facebook right. is, you know what I'm saying? So we can't keep saying people and things like they we got i got to drill in but i want to give you this i want to give you this technique first because it's, it's going to apply to all of them okay okay no problem all right can you see where the hole in the bucket was okay. telling them to get back with you we got that right that was the hole in the bucket oh yeah because they're not they're not right okay uh, the way to close the hole in the bucket is provide two times where you and I are going to reconnect, I'm going to connect with you after you watch the videos. Text me, here's where the number come in. Text me real quick so I can call you at that time. So provide two times to reconnect after the video is sent? After the video is sent, correct. And, and after you view the video. We're gonna talk after you view it, but you gotta provide the two times like, now, like in other words, okay, so so I need you to give me two times. Mm -hmm. We're not talking on both of them. You picking one. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I need you to give me two times where after you watch the video, I can call you. Mm -hmm. Now, what that means is, I don't care if you pick honestly six to seven thirty. I mean six to six thirty or eleven to eleven thirty. Mm -hmm. I just know that by the time you picked, I know that you've already what. Watch the video. Watch the video. Because you told me I had you believing that you customized the next schedule, but the truth is I didn't care what time it was. You see what I'm saying? Mm. That's why a car salesman says, my pen or yours. They don't care what you sign with. It is just one, we just need two pens. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> you see, that's why he says blue or black ink, my pen or yours. You know, you want red or white. He just trying to sell the car. He got you thinking you making decisions. He he don't care whether you pick red or white, blue or black, my pen or yours. They both they both <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay. But we do the same thing. Alternative choices, 7 30 or 9 30. Today or tomorrow. Are you busy for okay. dinner? Do you want me to call you tomorrow for breakfast? We don't care. We just know that the time slot you picked, because you knew what was coming next, you had to do the previous assignment. I got you, and, and just need to trust me. We're gonna go from start to finish. I don't want you to think that I'm not um, sensitive to what you're going through, but I got to give you these techniques first, then I'm gonna tie it together. Okay, no problem. I understand. Okay, now not only am I given two choices, I'm gonna, um, I'm swinging the pendulum back in my court because you're gonna give me your number, right? Mm -hmm. So I can call you. But guess what? I'm also doing. I'm also telling you that on that call, I'm going to have someone highly respected and better than I who can answer any questions for you. So mm -hmm. now I, don't, I brought in another person. We basically just made this an appointment. Mm. But do we tell them that? You got to. Here's okay. why. Because our, that's why I said we got to start breaking up the peers and colleagues and Facebook. I got to know which one you, because all these are different. Right. You got to bring in that extra party. Mm -hmm. Especially with people we know, because they don't want to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Right. So, what was what did you just say again, Brian? Um. After we secured it, meant uh, after they provided two times, you said in addition. In addition to that, I'm gonna have someone on the phone 
and here's the key word that I highly recommend. There's something about psychological, I'm telling you this over the years, psychologically, people do things that you highly recommend. Hmm. Okay? I highly recommend, I got, I got somebody that I want you to talk to that I highly recommend you connect with. However you want to say it, right? But highly recommend is the key. That's going to be available during that time slot. So don't blow this appointment. Now you're putting it in concrete, not pencil. See, if it's you, they're going to put it in pencil. Girl, I got busy. I with the kids. But you don't put Oprah Winfrey, you put her on your calendar and set the reminder, the alert. You can't miss that. The email, notification, everything. Everything. Autoresponder, you tell a friend to remind you, text you. You see, that's just the nature of people. If we make what's called a higher source dynamic, that's what it's called. You got to create this omnipotent, anonymous, higher source dynamic, and your friend got to want to meet that more than they want to meet you. Make sense? Now, on this I'm one, gonna have some. I'm gonna have someone on the phone at that time that I highly recommend that you connect with. That's going to be available. No, wait. Yeah, see, I, you need to be available to get any of your questions. Yeah, I highly recommend that you connect with. Um, this person, they're going to be available at that time. That time. Mm -hmm. And, and remember, else, or you're going to blow it. What did you say? Uh, we told so don't blow it. Like, so don't blow the appointment. Don't, don't blow it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so don't blow it. Okay? And I do a lot off the top of my head. That's why sometimes I record these because I just flow with it. You know what I mean? But, right. but you know what I'm saying? But highly recommend, don't blow it. Like, you letting them know. Because think about it. You told me this time slot. I didn't pick it. You said you was going to be about. So now don't blow it. Right. You see the difference? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go from top to bottom. It's three of us on this webinar, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to call my friend, Dr. Michelle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dr. Michelle, I'm trying to get you to talk to Justina, who's my friend that you don't know. I'm going to do the hard part. Dr. Michelle just going to answer the phone. Okay. Dr. Michelle, you need to hear my friend Justina because she's better than me. Me and you go back too far, okay? Okay. So me and you are friends. Okay. I need you to meet my friend Justina. Okay. My mm -hmm. business partner, Justina. You got it? Okay. All right. Ring, ring. Hello? Madam Michelle. Yes. Listen, do you know anybody that's been impacted by this whole social distancing thing? Yeah, everybody I know has been. Perfect. All right, so let me come out of character real quick. Now, y'all know the answer to that is yes, right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's undeniable. We ain't even got to argue about that. She can't tell me no to that. Okay? So mm -hmm. my point is, you want to get a person to keep answering what I call yes questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. So that way, when you get a person used to saying yes, they won't say no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see? So to say no to something that I just, you gave me five yeses. You can't say no on this last one because we've been yesing for five minutes. <laughs> you see it? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna come out of character sometime, here we go. Ring, ring, hello. Okay, Dr. Michelle, so you know somebody that's been impacted, right? Yes. Okay, question, how so? Talk to me about the impact, because I got something I want to talk to you about, but tell me, I need a little more information from you. How are people being impacted? Now what I'm doing, y'all, I'm making her nail herself. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Because she about to arm me with every reason people been impacted. She can't then back out and be like, I ain't going to watch it. Hmm. Right. Right. Go ahead, Dr. Michelle. I'm making her. She's basically giving me everything I need. So, Dr. Michelle, I, like, give me an example. Um, everybody that I know has been pretty much laid off of work. They're not working right now. They're homeschooling their kids. Hmm. Um. They're complaining about, um, some are complaining about the lack of funds, um, their money running out because they're not working. Some don't get paid if they don't work. Right. And others are complaining about dipping into their savings to uh, meet their financial obligations. And gotcha. uh, now, some yeah, people, we know this. this we know for sure before I tell you what I'm going to do. If you start dipping into your savings and ain't no money coming in, it goes fast, doesn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm working with this group called the First Ladies of Finance, right? They teach economic empowerment. They're using Zoom to do a lot of social, um, because of the social distancing, they're using Zoom to bring people closer together. They're teaching about money and working from home. I need you to take nine minutes to watch this video 
so that I can get you on the phone with somebody that's going to break this thing down to you so we can help those people. You want to help them? Yes. How can she say no? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? She done told me what their problems are. She got people affected. She done mm -hmm. ran down how they getting affected. You can't say, now I'm busy. Now I can't be watching no video. <laughs> see, what, 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 what people do, y'all be trying to get a person to see the opportunity by selling it. I talked to you long enough to where you can't tell me because you out of your own mouth telling me that people being affected. So you hmm. came back out now. Hmm. Now, Dr. Michelle, watch how, watch how I let her know what's coming next. After you watch it. But first of all, do y'all hear my, you hear I'm coming at you. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. very, it's like very, like I'm excited, but I ain't playing. You see what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. She about the kids, the dog, and then 10 minutes into the conversation, I got something you need to see, but I'm going to call you. You see, that's when everybody get weak. No, Dr. Michelle, I'm going to lock in an appointment with one of the first ladies of finance, right? Or maybe even a member of the Extra Digit Movement. That's like our parent organization. But either way, I highly recommend you speak to these individuals if you want to help these people. But they're going to tell you to watch this video first. What's better for you? You want to do tonight? You got nine minutes to watch it tonight. Let's say between 10 and 10, 15. Or you want me to call you in the morning between 8.30 and 9.30? It's still role playing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm writing, so you watch the video tonight. <laughs> I'm tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, call me tomorrow. Perfect. It's no problem. It's no pressure. See, whatever they say, y'all, it's perfect. It's no problem. It's no pressure. You can't say, you ain't got time tonight. You ask them which one she wants, so we're going to give her what she wants. What she wants. Perfect. Dr. Michelle, listen, don't blow it. Put that appointment in, in um, concrete, not pencil, okay? Okay. That's one of my favorite lines, y'all. Put that appointment in concrete, not pencil. Y'all know when something in concrete is permanent, right? Mm -hmm. See, just little small things that I do to, to lock it in. Great. Put that in concrete, not pencil, and I'll call you tomorrow at 9 30. Make sure you watch that video. That's it. So I secured my neck. I told her what's coming what? What's coming next? I brought in an omnipotent outside source that's gonna do all that for me. And I'm excited and she can't say no because she done told me everybody's struggling right now in some form or fashion, and I might have a solution. Mm -hmm. You see it? Mm -hmm. Do y'all know the reason most people don't do well in this business? They talk too much. And when you give out and spew all that information about what you think, instead of giving them the stuff I'm telling y'all works, you're going to find. If you, the more you talk, the more you give a person to wiggle out of. You see what I'm saying? The less you talk, the less they have to understand, so they got to go seek more what? Information. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So uh, I think on one of the webinars the other day, I call it the pizza theory. You come in with this big old pizza, they're going to say that's too wet. Man, that's a lot. That's, I can't eat that whole wet pizza. Mm -hmm. If I give you a slice, you're going to say, man, I can't get, can I get two? <laughs> At least two. Mm -hmm. It's the way that you can't give them the whole pizza. It's too much. Mm -hmm. nobody, nobody wants to look greedy, but everybody a little bit hungry. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So... All right, let's do another one. Watch how I don't ever say the same thing twice. I'm just showing you, you got to have fun and loosen up and posture yourself so that the prospect can't wiggle out. But keep the same ingredients. Change up the conversation, but keep the same ingredients. Yes, the same ingredients, which is always have two, two choices. Yes. Always let them know what's coming what, what's coming next. Excellent. Don't blow it, and I highly recommend. Like, there's certain ingredients you got to keep, but right. I'm going to make sure I get more information from them than they get from me. Right. Okay? okay. Watch how it flows. Totally, totally different. Okay. Ring, ring, Justina, Justina you're going to be my follow-up. I mean, you're going to be my um, prospect this time. Okay. All right? Okay, now watch this. We're going to do something different. I already peaked you on Facebook, because this is kind of what you're getting at. I already know where you're going, okay? I peeked you. Mm -hmm. I said, text me, so we can get off what? Offline. Offline. 
Please. You ain't seen nothing yet or nothing. I'm just getting you offline so you can hear my voice. Okay. Make sense? Mm-hmm. Ring, ring. Hello? <laughs> just <laughs> Uh, that's the easy part. <laughs> it's Brian from Facebook. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Hey, everything's good. Everything's good. Crazy times right now, right? Yes, sir. Yes, oh, indeed. So, listen, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm an insurance adjuster. Nice. Okay. So how is the whole social distancing thing? Has it affected you or anybody you know? Yes, absolutely it has. I mean, more people are being laid off and they're calling less deployments and making the workloads heavier for the people that are in office, but that means new people can't be called in. Exactly. Now, let me tell you what people are going to do. It's going to be two kinds of people. Some people are going to hold their money and some people are going to start investing their money. What kind of person are you? Invest, invest, invest. Right, because to hold it right now would mean that it's only going to go somewhere like Walmart. It's going to go somewhere like Sam's because people buy more toilet tissue than they need. <laughs> you want to invest, 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 my mm -hmm. kind of person. Okay, great. Now let's freeze. What did I do right there, y'all? I done hooked her in, and she done told me she the kind of person that what? Don't hold, but invest. Now, it don't mean she got 228. It just means I'm setting her up to at least have an open what? Open mind. Open mind. Right? Perfect. You say invest, 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 and I'm glad we met on Facebook. I'm working with a group of individuals, okay? It's called the Extra Digit Movement. Even before Corona, they were showing people how to grow their net worth one digit at a time. They're one of the few organizations whose revenues or numbers or results have skyrocketed since the virus. So you know they're doing something right. If since the virus, they're making more money. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. yes. You see what I'm saying? So here's what I want you to do. You got nine minutes, don't you? Yes. Pick one of these time slots for me. Take nine minutes between 7.30 tonight and 8.30 tonight, or, or you're a late person like 10 and 10.30 tonight. When you had a best nine-minute slot? 10. 10. Okay, I'm going to call you at 10.39. No, I'm just joking. I'm going to call you. <laughs> no, I was going to say 10. I'm going to call you at 10.09. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to call you between 10 and 10.30 because I want to talk to you about the video that you're going to see. Does that mm -hmm. make sense? Mm -hmm. All right. After that, I'm going to put you on the phone with somebody way more uh, experienced than myself. But I'm going to talk to you first before I introduce you to that person. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah, right. absolutely. Cool. All right. Everybody freeze. Right. So what am I doing, Michelle? Same psychology, same, <laughs> same locking down the time, but I just came at a different. See, what I'm trying to get people to understand is this. When you know what you have, you screen that person to see if they what you looking for. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now, watch this. Let well, me the mindset you. isn't for uh, us to work with them, but for them to want to work with us. Yes, because that's right. That's right. That's the posture. Yeah. But see, when you are trying to recruit and you feel like this person, you need them and all that, I ain't got time for all that. My job is exposure. You see what I'm saying? I'm just exposing you to something. The extra digit movement, the first ladies of finance, MWR. I don't care what you sprinkle in there. You, I'm, I, that's why I switched it up on purpose because the brand that we attach you to doesn't matter. I need you to know I'm working with people other than who? Other than me. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, just think, now, I want you to answer that question different. When I ask you about the investment versus hold on, I want you to hold on to it. Okay. All right, so just think, the crazy times right now, right? Oh my God, absolutely. Man, so you've been affected as an insurance agent. Fewer, less and less people are going out, which means, I'm going to make some up, which means less and less accidents, which means you're probably working less. Am I right? Right. Absolutely. Perfect. Now, do you think it's wise? Just give me your opinion. Do you think it's wise right now to either hold your money or should you be investing it? And I'm holding on to my money. I'm about to put it in a shoebox. Smart, smart girl. Let me tell you why. <laughs> If you invest in your money right now in markets that are going down, you'd be crazy, wouldn't you? Hmm. Now, the reason you put your money in a shoebox is because you believe it's safer with you, right? Absolutely. Now, Michelle, check that out. That answer good for me, too. <laughs> <laughs> we want to be like you when we grow up. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's just rolling. Even though it's natural conversation, so to speak, it's just rolling off your lips. But that's uh, because I, I see, here's why. That's because no matter what she does, because of my posture and attitude, 
I'm leading her to ro- down the road that she want to go down. Because, look, if she hold her money. Oh, instead of playing tug of war. Yeah. Instead of doing saying something that's contrary to what they're saying, you agree. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Hold your money. Mm-hmm. And then I rever- and then when she, since she holding it, I'm going to show her what she need to hold it for eventually. You see what I'm saying? All right, mm-hmm. so tell, so tell um, Brian about... What's your girlfriend's name? Oh, Brianna. Brianna. Mm-hmm. Tell him what Brianna said to you. Oh, okay. So I have a friend named Brianna, as you just heard. <laughs> and um, Brianna is always complaining about um, her taxes and that she's just not getting enough money right now and that, you know, the home market is down and her credit, like she has a lot of debt. And so I passed this video to her and, um, and she was like, don't sell me, don't sell me anything. Just come at me straight. And I was like, well, you, you know, you've mentioned that your finances and that you need help cleaning up your debt and that you could use an extra stream of income. I thought that you could benefit from this. And she was like, no, I don't need it. I don't want it. I'm not spending any more money. I don't need any services. I'm going to work it out on my own. Like she was just adamant that this was not something she wanted to be a part of before she even watched the video she was i don't know maybe offended that i even sent the video to her but i was just stressed all right maybe she's just stressed but i just really thought i was doing her a favor because she's always telling me about how hard times is okay so here's the thing let me handle that let me handle that the i'm gonna handle it the diplomatic way then i'm gonna handle it the non then i'm gonna handle the brian b all right the diplomatic way is this. Give a person a little more before you send them the video. Mm-hmm. Because if she's judging, in other words, if I, if I get some more information, like I did in y'all's examples just now, mm-hmm. it's going to be hard for her to back out of it, right? In other words, she's arming you with all her complaints. Am I right? Mm-hmm. Taxes, all the stuff I've been hearing you talk about. Mm-hmm. I say, listen, I'm working with a group of people. Mm-hmm. And then I will talk about the group I'm working with and give some, some um, success stories and testimonies. Okay. And I'm working with a group all day long. I know a young lady that got $730 back per month and it kept her from filing bankruptcy. Right. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's impressive. Yeah. You know, so when a person tells you their problem, provide the solutions verbally and testimonies first before we give them the video. Okay. See, I need you guys, and I'm glad we're doing this because it helps. It, that's why I love talking to people because it helps make me a better trainer. What we have to do is we got to hook them in a little more to, to, to stand true to what you told me so that it's hard for you to hook out of what you told me. Right. If she says all that and you just pass in a video. Now, Michelle is right, too. People are high stress right now, and, and don't take it to heart. They just, they, they're nervous, they're concerned, they worry. It, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? So they are a little bit stressed. But... If I say, listen, man, we helping people with everything from debt to credit restoration to tax minimization. There's a staff of people that I know can help you minimize these things. And it is a small fee. There's a small investment. But I'm here to help if you want help. Okay, send it over to me. See, you got to be more compassionate and less. Here's the link. Call me back. Right. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, we got to know when to put ourselves in their shoes and when to, which is my, the other answer I was going to give you. That's my diplomatic answer. Now the other mm-hmm. answer, I drop them like a hot potato. <laughs> I will because you I just, did that with my best friend and I didn't speak to her for like a year. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm serious though, because yeah. if you're in my ear complaining all the time, Mm-hmm. And then I tell you I have the, the solution to your problem, and then you still shoot me down. I don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah. And so I got tired of hearing it, and I was like, I'm going, I'm staying over in my lane and focus on what I need to focus on, and that's what I did. Yeah. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm not calling you anymore. It was just that you stay in my apart. lane, and I got to keep moving. Yeah. That's what I yeah. did. You grow, you grow apart. Because if a person going to keep complaining, and you provide solutions, Here's my thing. I don't have a problem with you if you don't take my solution, but at least look at my solution. You see, there's a difference. Mm. That's the frustration. I, but what I'm not going to do is keep listening to you complain when you won't even look. Right. Right. 
Now, once you see the solution and it's not for you, then we still, it's just not for you. But right. I'm not going to listen to these same calls and you think I'm about to be that ear every day and you're not even willing to look at it. Right. So what's our, call, what's our plan of action when we get off this webinar? What have we learned? Let's make sure we've learned. Let's make sure we, we got an act, what I call an actionable item, right? So we're not just talking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just think of this what you're going to do. You're going to follow back up with some of the people that you may have thought you dropped the ball on. Okay. okay. Here's what I do know. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. I want you to always remember that. Mm. You can't say the wrong thing to the right person. The right person will look at everything they feel like they can benefit from, no matter how minute it is, because they yeah, hungry. That's true. that's true. That would be me. That's you. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, people all the time, look at this, look at this. And my first words are, I will take a look at it. Right. But that does not mean that it's going to be a fit for me. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm open minded. Now I've learned. I missed that sprint opportunity. Do you remember? It was back in ninety, I think ninety three, when Sprint was uh, wanted you to invest ten thousand dollars. They were in living rooms. I missed that myself. Yeah, mm -hmm. they were in the living rooms, and they wanted people to invest ten thousand dollars as part of their um, what you call the fund, the um, not startup cost. They call it the what. Basically, some seed money to get it going. Yeah, seed money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I missed that. My granddad missed that. And yeah, I still kick myself to this day about that. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. Mm -hmm. So ever since then, I learned my lesson. I don't care what it is coffee, tea, waist trainer. I listen to it right. as a courtesy to the person who thought enough of me. Right. To Bear it with me mm -hmm. right. and then say, thank you so much, but I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At least look. Mm -hmm. So actionable items. So what we've learned so far is what? We start up this whole thing. Number one, we posture ourselves. We know right now that there are five reasons, or maybe I said four. Four industries are kind of all merging right now under this current climate, and we're taking advantage of all four. Yes, some of them overlap, but you understand what I'm saying, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We know now, well, even before we got to the four industries, before that, we must stay in our lane. Our job is to expose people to our opportunity. The, our organization's job, Extra Digit educates, MWR executes the stuff. We don't have any explanations. We don't have a bunch of emotions attached to it. That's our formulaic principle that equals enrollment. We know that. We now know that when we peak and pass, we have to give them an actionable item or it was called a, the, what's next. You got to let people know what's coming as a result of you doing this first. If you do this, I'll do that. That's what it's called. See, that's what, that's what, that's what negotiation and collaboration is. If you do this, I'll do that. So if you watch this video, I'm going to put you on the phone with somebody that's way, way more versed than I am. And I mm -hmm. think you guys can have a great collaboration conversation. They can answer your questions. That's just how I talk. Mm -hmm. If you do this, I'll do that. We now know that we must tie down two times. You don't care which one it is. They think they're customizing this thing. They think they're in total control. And you believe it or not, you're the one in control. Okay? We now know that we must get on the phone and ask questions before we just try to send them a link. Ask some questions. Do you know anybody that's been impacted? Has it impacted you personally? What do you think that was, what do you think, oh, here's a good one, I just thought of this right now. What do you think the solution is to, oh, oh, y'all, this is a good one. <laughs> ask, this is a good one. Ask them what they think the solution is to this current situation. Mm -hmm. Guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna give you all kind of stuff, and I guarantee you, the list they give you, I guarantee you, we doing it. People need to get their money together. People need to. You, I, I bet you, people need to um, uh, work from home. People now need. That's a hook. That's a hook, line, and sink right that's there. Hook, line, and sinker. That yes. right there. Oh my God! Let me write that down. Solution <laughs> is. <laughs> you know they know they got the answers right, but they don't have to be here. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, that's, so that's how we're gonna hook them. Now, here's how you, here's the verbiage, Justina, for you to go back and, and uncorrect or untangle what you may have said. Mm -hmm. put, I tell people this all the time. Put it on me. 
say, my mentor asked me to reach out and see <laughs> if you knew anybody. Now act like you've been commissioned to do this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My mentor asked me to reach out and see, now here's the key word, if you knew anybody who may have been affected by, our, by um, this, social, this whole social distancing or coronavirus, however you want to say it. I prefer, let me, let me tell you what I, let me, let me correct that. I prefer social distancing. Let me tell you why. We know it is as a result of, you see what I'm saying? So I don't want to keep planting coronavirus, 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 mm -hmm. coronavirus. I want to use more of the, how the social distancing is really what caused, we know corona caused it, but I'm saying I'm using that more. You very seldom hear me talk about coronavirus because mm -hmm. you getting emailed about that. You getting, you seeing Facebook about that. You getting inbox about that. You getting inundated with that. Let's talk about how the fact that we can't come together no more has affected you. Mm. It's, just a, it's just a little bit more positive than the virus. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he wanted me to ask you, do you know anybody who has been affected with this whole social distancing? Girl, yeah. Well, let me ask you this. How? How? So I can let him know. Man, people this, people that, people this, people that. Okay. And if you had your solution to this problem, what would it be? Shoot. People need to make some more money. Perfect. I'm going to call you back. Mm. You see what I'm saying? They just gave you everything they had on a platter. Mm. And you've been asked to do that. I'm the reason for your follow-up call. Mm. If you had a solution, what would you do? And if you had a solution, yeah, what would you what would you um recommend or what would you if you if you could solve this issue, what do you think is gonna be the solution to this problem overall? Well, mm. how have you heard it? You know what I mean? What to give you all the stuff they would do, and I promise you. Two out of four of them, we doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Because we know what the real solutions are. The real solutions is, you know, you got to be prepared for war in times of peace. The real mm -hmm. solution is, we, we, with this whole social distancing, you got to still be making some money from home. You mm -hmm. know, um, people need an education. People need a financial background. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. People need more education and knowledge on how this whole economy works. And they're getting a true lesson in it. The problem is they're getting it during the crisis. Mm -hmm. You getting the lesson, you getting a tough lesson. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We didn't expect you to get the lesson like this, but this is what we've been talking about. This is what we talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. I knew capitalism was real. When, 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 um, when Puerto Rico, I knew way before this, but when Puerto Rico, remember Puerto Rico went through their disaster? Mm -hmm. When they upped the price of bottled water? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. Like, how do you capitalize on a catastrophe you raising the price of the bottle of water? Remember that that dude got cussed out. I don't know if y'all remember somebody, somebody, man, they read they read his rights. Somebody like increased the price of bottle of water by like 10 times. I'm like, so let me get this straight. This country been devastated. Boy, that that's boy, it's a cold world out here when you increase the price of bottle of water during a catastrophe. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that, but this is the kind of stuff we talk about all the time. Capitalism, being a conscious, what? Conscious capitalism. Not yeah. to take advantage of people, but understanding the rules of the what? Rules of the game. That's yeah. why I be so adamant that people plug into stuff. Because I be giving you like free game and nuggets to use, but you got to plug in so you can hear it. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. it also comes by reputation, too, by practice. Just saying it over and over and over and over until it becomes fluid. Yes. Which we do have to do it in order for it to work. I like this better. This is... um. All the information that you provide is more helpful, but this is, this is, these are deliverables. This is, yeah, this is more, um, yeah, with the purpose. Yeah. With, with the purpose, it, like, with, this, with, the, with what we in right now, this conversation today has helped me realize that, you know, we got to use this as the time to really open people's eyes up, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. it, it's more, it's more relevant, this word I'm looking for, it's more relevant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Yeah, I have to run, man, but I, I okay. appreciate it. Uh, Thank I you so much. I appreciate it. Justine, are you good? Yeah, this, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be AD in the next couple of days. Who's going to be AD first? <laughs> Seriously, man, I tell people, loosen up with it, have fun with it. Don't, don't be so, don't be uptight with it. Have fun okay. with it. A person got questions, no problem. We'll get you the answer. Dig down and ask them the things that we talked about today. 
what would you recommend the solution to this overall thing? I'm working mm -hmm. with a group of people that's providing two, at least two of those solutions. That mm -hmm. kind of thing. Reel them in, and then right. we have a solution to a lot of people's current challenges. Okay. Thank you All so right. much, Brian. Thank you. I appreciate right. it. Thank you.